Hey guys, this is Sindrich from Czech Design Project again. Uh, today with a first bundle of um, instruments on Captain Side uh, instrument panel. A few of instruments are missing. Uh, the chrono is right there. Just for me to know how time is it. It takes eight days until it needs to be uh, spring loaded again. Uh, here will be a uh, indicated airspeed indicator. This is for the dual RMI, which is resting here on my table. This is the RMI. I need to remove it because I need a space for cables in uh, in behind. Uh, the flight director indicator, which is partly interfaced. The HSI horizontal situation indicator. Which is which has no wire in band, but I know how all the systems work, so that's just a matter of time. In this cell, there will be a um, altimeter, a vertical speed indicator. Uh, this is the navigation um, instrument warning um, annunciator. We are leaking two. Uh, we are missing two arrows here for instant for GA what we got a spare instrument warning uh, annunciator so we will take the errors from the spare one and mm, put it into the uh, position and this is the radio altimeter which is completely uh, working and interfaced there will be a fuel totalizer which needs to be connected together with uh, with the other three um, fuel quantity uh, gadgets and this is the autopilot, autopilot trim indicator which is in fact interfaced and working I can move all, all, uh, all the indicators uh, but that needs uh, uh, we, we will probably need to reprogram uh, the complete function of the spare 50 uh, autopilot so this will not be controlled by Cool Sky D Schneider. This will be controlled by our own application. Also, all the switches are connected to the FSX, but and also the this is the indication of uh, of uh, markers, outer, middle, inner. Um, um, few things are rocking some not but um, this is the first bundle as I said so first time today I'm showing you something that is uh, mounted into the panel and that's these three things you see right now uh, is the uh, radio altimeter is completely working the annunciator is working and the API is working all the flags uh, the speed command indicator is working, the glide slope is working and the roll command and the roll is working on the horizon. I will work on uh, pitch next week but uh, okay let's start uh, see the same simul uh, the same as is uh, happening on the simulator um, but the engines are started to make it quick so the only thing I need to do is to connect the uh, power from uh, the engine generators which are currently turned off so uh, look what happens if I turn the generators on uh, so this is um, I turn on the generators you, s you hear some noise you see the glide flow goes it should go to behind the cover. I don't know why, but it it, it won't go any any farther. The speed indicator me shows that we are slow. Sure, we are standing on the ground. Uh, you see a blinking of the of the uh, light bulbs in the instrument uh, instrument uh, warning uh, panel. I can turn them on all uh, all on. And you see the same is here displayed. That same here is just coloring, and I can turn it off. And um, I can do a test to a radio altimeter, which goes to uh, 250, uh, then goes back to zero, and you see the MD light is working. So this is a 
uh, these three things are working, including this uh, uh, roll uh, on the H side. So, uh, got the engine started on the flight simulator. I will perform takeoff. Uh, you will see a uh, alti uh, radio altimeter will show uh, some once we climb. And first, what will occur will the speed will go to uh, to the center. Then I will start to rotate. We'll go up. Then we'll climb the. Uh, the radio altimeter will show some value and so on. So, just how it should work. Uh, okay. And first, this is a. Uh, we are, I'm uh, in Prarozně, uh, runway 30. And now I open uh, the um, navigation. And the frequency for the ILS is 109.50. So this is no signal receiving, and if I put a 50 in there, you see we are receiving uh, the glide slope, and we are too below uh, shore because we are standing on the st uh, beginning of the runway, and uh, we have four reds. So, but this is this is how you okay. So uh, we'll perform a takeoff. I put full thrust. Hope it works. Yes, it is. So first, what will happen now? The speed will go up once we reach a uh, takeoff speed, or we rotate. We're so going faster. Now see the speed is increasing here. I'm rotating. Wow, there's something wrong. And um, this needs to be debugged. Okay. So this is not good, it should be fast. Then I'm turning to the left. And see the radio altimeter is showing mm, higher, higher. I'm turning to the left, you see the same here. Just watch these two these two instruments and I will turn to the right this one and this one is just showing the same so see it's uh, turning a, a perfect uh, 30 degree uh, turn and the radio altimeter is not of uh, anything because here and um, the only problem is here I uh, this somehow disappeared I don't know why it doesn't it does not happen on my testing but um, okay guys this is I will make it to a level flight the horizon thing is just the FDI is just amazing. That is, uh, um, if all the axes, I mean, uh, the, the that's the roll, then the pitch, then the V bars, and the localizer and runway elevation will work together with all that that is working already. That will just be an amazing instrument, and it makes a noise. I hope you hear it. That's only the one engine, uh, the, the one motor. If all six will be connected, that will be a lot of noise. Okay, guys, that's it. Indrik from Check This Manner. Hope you liked my video and see you next time. Bye bye.